Hey everyone, Rick here, and I thought I'm going to give this cooking thing a try. Now, I just unboxed, I had this blender in my kitchen cabinet, just still in its box. Who knows how long it's been in there, folks. There are so many appliances in this kitchen that I have never used before in my life. I know the microwave really well, and I know the fridge. There are other things in here that I'm just scared to death, and this blender was one of them. But I want to milk, make a milkshake, so <laughs> I already got the ice cream, but listen to this. So I just unboxed this, I washed it out, and now, oh my gosh, it's like holding a power tool for the first time. Man, this is gonna be scary, but I've already got the ice cream. I already got the thicker milk. I'm basing this off of a recipe, so we'll see how this goes, but I forgot the whipped cream, and I'm not having a milk, some pedestrian milkshake without whipped cream, so gotta go back to the store. I'll update you soon. All right, so we got a couple of the ingredients here. Blue Bunny Vanilla Bean Ice Cream. That'll give it a little extra vanilla taste. I didn't want to go full on with the vanilla extract, so I think that'll do. And then, of course, whole milk. Let's get to scooping. Okay, so the recipe called for four cups of ice cream. And it's like, okay, so I packed it down in here. So I assume that's one cup. We got to do this three more times, but I got to tell you folks, I may or may not have taken a taste of this vanilla bean ice cream and it is so good. All right. Now here's the thing. Look at all that ice cream. That is two cups of ice cream. I am thinking I don't need that much. So I'm cutting this recipe in half. So it's two cups of ice cream. It's now only going to be one cup of whole milk instead of two cups so because this is supposed to serve four and i'm like do i really need four servings of this milkshake maybe i do oh my gosh okay that's it it is super simple one cup of whole milk two cups of vanilla bean ice cream. Now I've never blended before in my entire life. First of all, let's plug this in or that would be super anticlimactic. Okay. I, what are you supposed to do? Are you supposed to hold the top? Am I allowed to vlog and blend at the same time? Okay, so there is literally a blend option here. Okay, what happens when I do this? Now check that consistency. Does that not seem too milky to you? I think we need more ice cream. Okay, just put two more scoops of ice cream in here. I've literally put like half of this ice cream container in this blender. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, let's see. That looks about right. Am I over blending? Is that a thing? All right, let's see what it looks like in a glass. Okay, so I put a glass in the freezer for a sec. And if you recall these amazing red lobster glasses, yeah! Okay guys, here is the moment of truth. Is it the right consistency? What the hell is that? It's in clumps. That doesn't look right. How does someone screw up a milkshake? Did I not blend it long enough? Okay, despite how it looked being poured, we at least have to make it look somewhat decent. Honestly, <laughs> that looks like the saddest thing I've ever seen in my life. 
I also picked up a pack of these paper straws. Unfortunately, they only came in green. And the final touch. Okay, guys, here we go. The moment of truth. Well, <laughs> um, it tastes like milk, and it's definitely not a milkshake consistency. Um, at this point, I'm going to call this a total fail. I'm going to totally not regret not having invited anyone over for a little milkshake party because this would have been a total embarrassment. It was two ingredients in a blender, and I can't do that right. I have some fantastic friends who will invite me over for dinner. They will make some elaborate, delicious meals, and I'm just like... Yeah, guys, come on over. I'll pour you a bowl of cereal because that's about the extent of it. I'm going to stick to uh, the professionals when it comes to milkshakes from this point forward. And I'm going to have this nice glass of cold, slightly ice creamy milk and uh, call it a night. I mean, you have to go buy the supplies. You have to put it all together. You have to deal with the result. You have to do all the cleanup. It's so much easier and more satisfying to just go buy one. So we'll just add this little guy to the sad corner of forgotten appliances that I never use.